Hello, everyone. Today, I learned a very important lesson about not showing off. James is a very proud engine. He likes to tell everyone he's the best at everything. One day at the shunting yard, Philip told James and me how strong he was and how he could pull lots of cargo. Instead of ignoring Philip, James decided to also be a show-off and prove that he was the stronger engine. But then there was trouble. The heavy cargo was too much for James and it pushed him off the tracks and over the edge of the bridge. Luckily, Philip was on hand to save him. James realized he shouldn't have tried to pull more cargo than he could manage. Showing off didn't make James look strong or clever. That's why showing off is never a good idea. Hello, everyone. Today, I learned a very important lesson about being careful and not rushing things. When the Fat Controller asked Percy to take the very important sheep to the spring fair, Percy was so worried about being late that he wasn't very careful. He bumped the livestock wagon and made a big hole in it. But Percy was in such a hurry, he didn't notice. Every time Percy stopped, more of the sheep jumped out through the hole. And by the time Percy got to the fair, there were no sheep left in his wagon at all. Luckily, I found Percy's sheep, and I took them to the fair. Percy realized he'd been rushing so much, he hadn't been very careful. If Percy had slowed down, he wouldn't have had an accident, and the sheep wouldn't have escaped. That's why it's important to be careful and not rush when you have an important job to do. Hello, everyone. Today, I learned a very important lesson about making sure you tell someone when you're going somewhere. When Hero had an accident and needed new parts, I decided to help find him some. I thought if I went back to the woods where I first met Hero, I may find some of his old parts. But I didn't tell anyone where I was going. Then there was trouble. The old rails had given way and I got stuck in the mud and no one knew where I was to come and help me. I tried to call for help, but no one could hear me. Luckily, Harold saw my steam and soon my friends came to rescue me. I realized that because I hadn't told anyone where I was going, no one knew where I was. I was very lucky that Harold saw me. That's why it's always important to tell someone where you are going. Hello, everyone. Today, I learned a very important lesson about being responsible. When the Fat Controller made James and me responsible for taking everyone to the dry old football match, he asked us to work together. But then we got into a silly argument over which team was the best, the Reds or the Blues. James and I were so busy hurrying to the match, we forgot about the important jobs the Fat Controller had given us. Then there was trouble. The football match hadn't started. James hadn't picked up the Barrow team, and I hadn't picked up the referee. <laughs> Luckily, Percy saved the day. He brought both the team and the referee to the football ground. James and I realized the important thing wasn't which team was best, it was making sure everyone got to the match on time. That's why when you're given a job to do, it's important to take responsibility for doing it properly. Hello, everyone. Today, I learned a very important lesson about everyone being useful. When the thin controller said that his bicycle's two wheels were best, we all disagreed. We all thought we had the best number of wheels. Bertie thought his four wheels were best. I thought my six wheels were best. Spencer had 20 wheels. <laughs> but he ran into trouble when he tried to take the Duke and Duchess to Callan Castle. I tried to help, but the track was blocked. So Bertie came to the rescue. But 
one of Bertie's four wheels burst a tire. And so Harold quickly flew the Duke and Duchess to the castle. This proved it didn't matter how many wheels we have. We could each help the Duke and Duchess on their journey. Everyone has a strength and can be really useful. We just need to find that special thing we're good at. Hello, everyone. Today, I learned a very important lesson about being determined. When Mavis had to go to the diesel works for repairs, the Fat Controller asked Den to do her work at the quarry. But when Den tried to organize the troublesome trucks, they were, well, very troublesome. Toby and Henrietta told Den he needed to be firm with the trucks. That was how Mavis did it. Even though it was a hard job, Den didn't give up. He took a deep breath and he showed those trucks that he was in charge. Den soon had everything under control, even the troublesome trucks. <laughs> and when Mavis came back, she thanked Den for doing such a great job. That's why being determined and not giving up helps you get things done. Hello, everyone. Today, I learned a very important lesson about owning up to your mistakes. Christmas is a very exciting time, but it's also a very busy time, especially on Sodor. And when you're rushing, accidents are more likely to happen. That's what happened to Cranky when he dropped a crate. Cranky didn't want to get into trouble, so he hid the crate instead of telling anyone. This led to confusion and delay. Cranky spent the day worrying about his mistake. But luckily, nothing in the crate was actually broken. Cranky realized he should have owned up to his mistake instead of trying to hide it. Being honest and admitting when you've made a mistake is the best thing to do. That's why it's always best to own up to your mistakes. Hello, everyone. Today, I learned a very important lesson about not giving up when something goes wrong. Connor is a very fast engine, but one day when he was traveling very quickly, his coupling rod came loose and he nearly derailed. Connor was fixed at the steamworks and Victor told him that now he was repaired, he could go full speed again. But Connor was still worried. So he decided to travel really slowly so he wouldn't have any more accidents. But that made him late and his passengers angry. Stephen told Connor that back in his day, engines often broke down, but they didn't give up no matter what happened. Connor realized Stephen was right. Although he'd had an accident, he should keep doing his best. So, to make sure he wasn't late again, Connor raced at full speed to the next station. And that's why you shouldn't give up, even if something went wrong the first time. Hello, everyone. Today, I learned a very important lesson about listening to good advice. When James was asked to take the mayor and the fat controller to a ball, he wanted to look his best. But first, James had to finish his other jobs. That made him dirty. So James went to the washdown to get clean. Then, James found a little scratch on his paintwork. So he rushed to the steamworks to be repainted. Victor warned James his new paint wouldn't dry in time for James to do his special job. But James didn't take Victor's advice. Out on the tracks, dirt and leaves stuck to James's wet paint. Now James really did need repainting. And Edward got to take the mare and the fat controller to the ball. If James had listened to Victor's advice, he would have got to do the special job. And that's why you should always listen to good advice. Hello, everyone. Today, I learned a very important lesson about helping others. When Emily broke down, she needed big, strong Caitlin's help to get to the steamworks. 
Emily was impressed with how fast and streamlined Caitlin was and thought that Caitlin was the best engine ever. But later that day, it was Caitlin that needed help. Her brakes had failed and she was racing down the hill out of control. Luckily, Emily was there to rescue her. She used her brakes to bring Caitlin safely to a stop. Then it was Emily's turn to take Caitlin to the steamworks. And this time, it was Caitlin who thought that Emily was the best engine ever. So, when you help others, you're not just doing something nice for them. It makes you feel good too. That's why helping others is a great thing to do.